Welcome back to Toledo's Most Local 9 a.m. Show. It is one of Mommy's and Toledo's favorite events, which benefits a great cause. Yeah, it might still be January, but <laughs> lots of folks are getting ready for March 3rd in Maumee. Scott Hayes is here with Acoustics for Autism, and this is a spectacular mm -hmm. event. Is. So many bands are out there, and this is year 17? 17th edition, wow. and it's grown, I, I say organically mm -hmm. every year. Started as a modest event, but a productive one. Raised money for a good cause. Our scholarship fund that funds uh, uncovered uh, uh, through insurance treatments for autism spectrum disorder. What we've learned and we've talked about on the show many times is um, the spectrum is very broad and what helps one child might not help another. And so we provide scholarships, write checks to families that have those out-of-pocket expenses. So this year, yeah, we're talking eight stages, 95 musical acts. We've been told that this is the largest annual free music event mm -hmm. festival in the country. So we're very proud of that and we expect this to be uh, bigger and better than ever. Yeah, why not? I mean, it does get bigger and better every year and, and it really, it's one of those things, this is the first Sunday in March that you do this every year and you never really know what's going to, what the weather's going to be doing. <laughs> um, but I always look forward to it because it's also one of those, hey, we're almost there. You know, we're, at, yeah. we're coming out of winter, it's like the first event that's happening and it doesn't really matter what the weather's doing because we're all ready to get out and just have a good time and and support a great cause too yeah and so the, the weather really doesn't matter um but it is it, it feels like that's the first festival of the season mm -hmm. and hey we've made it through we've got a lot to look forward to but the way we've constructed this event we have brick and mortar buildings on a block in mommy uh conant allen dudley uh and wayne street that whole block uh, plenty of venues there, and then behind it, a network of tents that we work very vigorously every year to get even a blade of grass more space. Uh, it's connected in a way that even if it's raining or snowing, you don't, you're not really out of, uh, you know, you're not out in the weather. The tents are heated. And so um, it, it, it really doesn't matter. But boy, we've been lucky the last few years. <laughs> well, last year was amazing. So we'll seeing just... you, and it was what 65 and sunny. Yeah, it wonderful. was gorgeous. So we'll hope for that again. Yeah, making we'll it convenient for, for mm -hmm. so many uh, to get out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uh, an event that takes uh, a lot of planning. You guys started planning this as soon as it ended last year, I'm sure, because the stages are set. So uh, from now until uh, March 3rd, uh, what's the plan? What, what's what's keeping you busy? Oh, it's it's we're, we're getting sponsors lined up. You know, we pride ourselves in really uh, communicating through a very a different, various different mediums um, who helps us out and making sure people know um, who our partners are. And so to market them, we've got to get the sponsors lined up early. This year we have Raymond Services coming on board as an event sponsor, Local 500. Uh, I'm an honorary member and so is Judge Corey, our founder of Local 500, the Associate General Contractors, Raymond Services, Clearview Tinting, and IBEW, that's Electrical Workers Union, mm -hmm. came on as an event sponsor. And then we've got Mark Feldstein, A. Bose, and Neuter Construction that have been with us since the beginning. And so we get sponsors lined up mm -hmm. and then donated items. Because one of the ways we can make money for the scholarship fund is to put package together uh, gift cards, vacation, sports memorabilia, mm -hmm. timeshares, those types of things into marketable items that people will bid on. That starts a week before the event mm -hmm. online and then live the day of the event. So a lot of busy work. There's a lot of, a, uh, of uh, logistics that take place, but you know what? We're ready for it. Yeah, so if, if you might be going through and cleaning out from over the holidays or maybe you got some gifts that you aren't really going to use, <laughs> but somebody else would love to have, now is the time to hand those over to you all because as you said, it is free to get into this fundraiser, but you have to raise the money somehow for these families. So uh, those donated items for the silent auctions, the sponsorships, things like that. How do people get in touch with you all if they want to help out? You can like Project I Am on Facebook. There's a lot of good information there. Project I Am is the parent organization. Acoustics for Autism is the event. Or you can go to acousticsforautism.com and it's all there. If you click on the current event tab, you can find uh, sponsorships, donated items tab, 
uh, volunteer opportunities. And we're always looking for people to sign up for volunteers. We get a, we get an, a, an abundance of people wanting to serve beer in the tent. <laughs> I wonder why. And we, we, have a, we don't have as many people signing up to help us tear, tear down. Tear down because, at 2 in the morning? Yeah. When, when I told you the planning starts literally. Mm -hmm. it, 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 we, we get done. Nicole, who founded this, Nicole Corey, um, she gets no sleep. Uh, we tear down the event, and she's there first thing in the morning cleaning up. Because remember, we're te we're we're shutting down a state route. Right. Uh, we're shutting down <laughs> uh, a big chunk of Ma downtown Maumee, and so we want to give it uh, right back at the way they found it, maybe a little bit better. Um, and so she's at work, and and the team is already looking at you know post mortem. What went well? Yeah. Where can we find opportunity for next year? Can we get a little more space here? Mm -hmm. Where did we have, you know, just people backed up? You know, mm -hmm. can we move things? And and so that starts literally that night <laughs> at the event. <laughs> yeah. And you could be there to help out with mm -hmm. that. Things get started at noon on March 3rd. So set your calendars for that. And all the way until two in the morning. Two in the morning. Rock, two rock two in out, the morning, right? and we're going to hear from one of the best songwriters in Toledo. Yes. Great musician who will be playing Kyle White here shortly. Yeah. Yes, so stay with us. Mm -hmm. We're going to hear from her. Yeah, Kyle White mm -hmm. will be here. Well, good day. Returns. <laughs>